Hi everybody! Once again I'll be playing more of the Essence Star, or rather my world of the Essence Star. Seemingly we need to progress further in my world in order to unlock the shop, which will get us access to keys, which will allow everybody to finish their areas with less trouble, hopefully. Seemingly Hypnos ran into a bit of a dead end and requires access to keys in order to do that. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of areas in my world, hopefully far enough to unlock that shop before handing it off to whoever's next. But first, I'm going to do a little bit of stuff right here. I'm going to drop into this shop and grab a key for myself out of that. It's going to be a little bit expensive, but if I run into a secret exit this way, I don't have to come all the way back here, grab a key, then do all that shit. Hopefully I'll only need one key in order to do that. The other reason why I came here is because Hypnos found an item that allows you to talk to ghosts. And this is the only area that I know of where ghosts are present. So hopefully we get something here. Ha, huh, no one will ever find the hidden pipe to my storage room between the second and third race blocks. I truly am brilliant. Two, two and three, that would be right here. Let's see. There we go. Looks like we have a, ourselves a hidden pipe and a bunch of booze all over the place. Doesn't look like I can talk to them. And a bunch of these blocks. What's this right here? Ah, our first card. Lady Bow. Lady Bow. Uh, something about her being a female ghost or something. In case you're curious as to what the hell this whole thing here is, it's pretty much a race area. What happens is you go out, you hit one of these things, and you wager coins. And the way this works is if you win the race, then you get additional coins. If you lose the race, well then you just lost a bunch of coins. Typically, the level 1 race wagers 25 coins, I believe, and if you win, you get 30. The way this whole thing is set up, your running speed is faster than the boo itself. However, your jumping speed is slower. So the whole trick is pretty much just create situations where you can flat out run as much as possible and get to the goalpost before it does. What you want to do is focus on those switch blocks and try to create a bunch of shortcuts the way I was, and that'll allow me to make some extra cash. Possibly one of us may have to grind on that area, so it's a good idea to show it off, I guess. And we have a creepy little guy here. Stupid festival, all these blissfully moronic drones. Flock here for the happy-go-lucky garbage. Hey, what are you looking at? Sneaking suspicion he's going to be a major villain, possibly the main villain, since from the looks of things the villain that they're setting up is actually just a sub-villain and there's some bigger tough guy, bad guy behind him, and all that stuff. So we got ourselves an extra card, we finally used that item, and this is my next level. As you can see, loosely based off of the design ships or the ship design, rather, from Mario 3. Very nice. Those ship levels were actually some of my favorites, although I really prefer the uh, World 8 tanks. Actually, World 8 of Mario 3 is, for some bizarre reason, one of my favorite worlds ever. I'm not sure what it is, but something about it just... Oh, shit. <laughs> It's just absolutely perfect. I don't know, maybe it was the fact that it was like really heavily war themed and it was just so unlike any of the other Mario levels, just completely unusual in every way. But uh, the ship levels, the airship levels, which were roughly the same as the castles in the later games, it's kind of like the castles in World, I guess, except with a lot more bullets and a lot less climbing fences. They were also pretty good levels. I think one of the other levels I really preferred was the uh, desert. Fucking hated World 7, which was the one with all those fucking uh, chain jumps. 
really also love the uh, World 4 in that game. Despite the fact that, well, it wasn't a level I really played a whole lot of, due to the fact that I knew all about those hidden little whistles that are all over the place, which allow you to bypass a shitload of the game. Leaving that mushroom for now, I'm going to come back and grab it later, if I get hit. Oh, <laughs> okay. Looks like I might very well get hit. Looks like we got some homing shots. Fortunately, I'm well trained in the art of dodging shots. Or maybe I just save state my way through them. It depends on which side of the argument you prefer to believe. Fuck. Well, I didn't say I was perfect at it. I'm guessing that the uh, items are tied to the select button. Much like the item box. What the fuck that. It's just a one-up. I don't need a one-up that bad. We've got nine fucking lives. Mario's a goddamn cat right now. Nine lives, that's enough. Fuck it, I'm also not going too far with hitting those blocks in order to stockpile keys. Or coins, rather. Shit, keys, what the fuck am I on about? Uh, due to the fact that I think we're doing okay. And there's more efficient ways to grind up coins. Plus, it'll make the videos a bit less boring to watch. Since I won't be just mindlessly slamming into the block over and over. Oh boy, more flying. Uh... Okay, well this is pretty simple, just stick your stick or your d-pad in the direction. Make sure to grab the uh, power item and uh, we have a little path split. I'm going to take the lower path. Maybe the upper path leads to an alternate exit, I don't know. I'm going to come back into this level and take a look around up there just to be on the safe side. But for now I'm going to go with whatever exit I get on my little blind run that I'm going for right now. Yes, I have no idea what the fuck's coming up. Fortunately, this game is so easy that you don't really need to know what's coming up. Very, very nice difficulty battle. Whoa, shit. Okay, aside from the fuck huge bullet bills every once in a while. And those small, medium-sized bullet bills, which I don't believe were in any of the games. Is that something new to this ROM hack? I'm not completely sure. Fuck. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if they are new, good job. Nice little enemy redesign. It does look redesigned, so I'm guessing it probably is a new enemy. Really hate these ladders. I'm guessing it's probably the controller I'm using. Ah, the overpowered fire flower. And exit! No shop yet, though, but I will save. Squid Seabed. That sounds quite tasty, I'm sure. Battleship Brawl. Which was suspiciously lacking in actual brawls. Uh, I believe I'll end the video right here for now. I'm going to go back into Battleship Brawl and see if there's an alternate exit. If I don't see one, then the next video will be uh, Squid Seabed or whatever the hell that's at. Yeah, Squid Seabed. See you next time, people.